Craterellus phallus, also known as the black trumpet, is a captivating species that graces the eastern woodlands of North America. This fascinating fungus takes the spotlight, replacing its European counterpart, Craterellus cornucopioides. What sets Craterellus phallus apart is its unique yellow-orange spore print, a striking departure from the white spore print of its European cousin. Although one sought to be synonyms with Craterellus cornucopioides, recent studies reveal that this captivating mushroom is indeed a distinctive species. Now let's talk about its appearance. The black trumpet's small, vase-shaped fruiting bodies has a velvety gray to black upper surface. As these mushrooms mature, their outer surface transforms. The fruit body is one to five centimeters wide, three to nine centimeters high, without a clearly defined cap and stem. Craterellus phallus thrive in the embrace of mycorrhizal partnership, particularly with majestic trees like hemlock and oak trees. These symbiotic relationships underscore the intricate dance of nature as these mushrooms exchange nutrients with their host trees, enriching the forest ecosystem. Now, let's talk about the culinary side of Craterellus phallus. This mushroom is truly a gourmet gem. With its delicate aroma, nutty and smoky flavor, it's no wonder chefs and food enthusiasts seek out the black trumpet. For more information about the recipes on how to cook this mushroom, you can visit Forager Chef's YouTube channel. Remember, while Craterellus phallus is a choice edible, it is important to note that their size might not make them star of every meal, but their unique taste certainly adds a touch of magic to any dish. To find the black trumpet mushroom will be challenging. Craterellus phallus might be common, but they have an uncanny ability to blend in their surroundings, making them difficult to discover. Their small black stature and intricate fruiting pattern often play a game of hide and seek with even the sharpest eyes. Microclimates and weather conditions play a pivotal role in their growth. It needs a lot of rain and it usually spawns in July and August in the northeastern US. If you are all stuck by these marvelous fungi as I am, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more awe inspiring nature explorations, and share your thoughts and experience in the comments below. Hello everyone, uh, it has been a while that I speak in front of the camera. Uh, I came to the Harriman State Park in New York State. That um, Actually, I come here for looking for the black trumpet mushroom. The scientific name of black trumpet mushroom is called uh, Craterellus uh, phallus, uh, if I'm not mistaken with the species. But I'm not 100% sure about the species I'm finding today. So the story was like this, that uh, the president of New York Mycological Society, her name is Sigrid Jacob, that she's one of my best mushroom friends. Uh, she told me, hey, this morning, she told me this morning, hey, like Ming, do you want to go take a look at this mushroom? Uh, because I saw them uh, this weekend. And I was like, oh yeah, sure, because I, she knew that I always told her that I wanted to document this uh, mushroom in the wild but I never really got an opportunity to see them in a very uh, nice way which means that I never see them grow a lot I always see them like an individual one or two uh, of the mushroom grow outside uh, in the forest so uh, it is actually a very good opportunity for me to come this time I was very excited as you can see that previously in the video there are so many black trumpet mushroom growing 
And this mushroom is actually one of the most delicious mushroom that you can find in the forest. Everybody wants to look for them. I think Sigrid also told me that this mushroom, you can find them in Staten Island. If you are residents in uh, New York City, that you don't want, you don't drive a car, you don't want to go so far away to the upstate, uh, to the Harriman State Park. Uh, you can go to Staten Island to find this mushroom. Definitely, uh, if you're lucky and the weather is nice, you can find plenty of them. This mushroom is actually mycorrhizal mushroom, which means it has to grow with the trees. Uh, it can never grow without the trees around it. So it's not like the portobello mushroom that you can buy in the supermarket, which means that it cannot be cultivated. Uh, cultivated means uh, just on the substrate and then you can do a liquid culture or anything like that, spawn on the grain. Uh, like I know you guys, a lot of them that wants to do the philosophy grows, um, like a lot of people doing the black market. Or even, you wanna, even if you wanna grow shiitake, this, you cannot grow this mushroom at home. Shiitake, you can do it at home, um, home culture. Let me just pick one for you and you can see actually how the mushroom look like. Uh, they are actually very elegant, as you can see previously in the video, but now I'm gonna... Oh, there's a bug here! Ah, go away! Dude! Ah, oh, there's also mosquitoes, but anyway. Uh, well, that's what you have to deal with if you are a mushroom hunter, right? So let me pick the mushroom for you. Here we go. I pick uh, several, so let me show you in front of camera. So here we go, you can see this. As you can see that they look like a trumpet, like you can, like, uh, like the instrument. And that's where their common name come from. Um, the interesting about this mushroom is that I never, because I came from China, in my hometown, I never see anyone sell this market, sell this mushroom in the market. Either it's not one of the mushrooms which can be found in China, that I'm not sure, or people in China think this is uh, a, like a poisonous mushroom. Uh, so that's why they don't sell it. But I have to go back to the reference to see that whether this mushroom exists in China. I knew that in Europe there are some folklore about this mushroom also, saying that it is a representative of death. That's why a lot of people are actually afraid of this mushroom too. But as a matter of fact, all of these uh, stories of folklore are not true. Um, this mushroom is definitely a very delicious mushroom. If you wanted to prepare it at home, then you can saute with butter, uh, or you can just cook with some um, vegetable. If you're a meat eater, it's also very good go with meat. Uh, but definitely it was trying that you wanted to cook at home uh, because this is a very very nice mushroom. I hope that this introduction actually will give you a good overview uh, about the look, about the location, about the growth of this mushroom. Uh, I hope you like this video and I wish you good luck if you go out to find this mushroom and it's definitely worth trying. Very very delicious. Here are some photos I took for these beautiful and elegant black trumpet mushrooms. Hope you like these photos! If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. Your support will help to spread the knowledge of mushrooms and maybe to inspire people to build a better world. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time as you can see previously in the video, but now I'm gonna... Oh, there's a bug here! Ah, go away! Dude! Ah, oh!